We have, we have Michael as our stewardship speaker this morning. As a bishop, I guess I can interrupt a priest. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see everyone here today. Um, I want to start by recognizing some people. You know, we have an amazing talent in this parish. We have so many people who are so capable and so competent to do things. And that's what really keeps this parish going. And I first want to recognize Kelly Martell because she selected and recruited every person who gave a stewardship testimony during this season. And along with Kelly, I want to recognize Judy Evans, Melissa Shearer, Tanya Connor, Roxanne Vogelson, and Amber Middleton. We have been blessed by every word these people have spoken, and we are grateful to them and for them. But I also want to recognize a group of people that have met every week. It feels like all year long, but it hasn't been that long. But on Sunday afternoons and some Thursday evenings, uh, the committee that has put together this campaign for our annual fund as well as our capital campaign fund have committed to meeting every week to plan and to discuss and to pray for our funding of our annual st stewardship budget as well as our capital campaign. And I want to recognize those people. Jennifer Cawley, our senior warden. Liz Swafford. Lisa Pettis. Kat Jones. Kathy Luckett. And Reverend Ann. And I'm grateful to every one of them because it... Uh, it couldn't be done by one person, it has to be done by a group. So today marks the first, I'm sorry, the final stewardship testimony on behalf of our annual pledges and our capital campaign pledges. Because it is an important day, it was my intention today to wear a suit a starch shirt, and a tie. Well, it, it appears that the rumors and reports that there is an existence of a COVID-15 are true. <laughs> Unfortunately, the suit I chose to wear for this worship service no longer fits, <laughs> and the shirt is a bit tighter than what I remember. I suppose I proved that by adding 15 pounds to my frame, and thus my suit no longer fits. So here I am in clothing that fits. <laughs> Spandex will do a lot. <laughs> the first Sunday that we announced the capital campaign to each of you in worship, the epistle for that day was from James. Every generous act with every perfect gift is from above. According to Scripture, Everything that we have is from God, and our pledge to the annual budget and to the St. Albans Capital Campaign are our spiritual responses to that perfect gift from above. Therefore, what we pledge to give to the annual budget and what we pledge to the capital campaign are spiritual responses to God's blessings that are provided daily to us. We give back to God because God first gives to us. However, I want us to consider another aspect of pledging and giving to our beloved St. Albans on the Hill. When we pledge and donate to the annual budget and to the capital campaign, then in effect, we are giving to one another. Think about that giving to one another. How many of you are like Kathy and me and do not have children in the children's ministry? 
How many of you are like Kathy and me and do not have children in the youth ministry? How many of you are like Kathy and me and do not participate in ministries such as Clickety Clack, the Early Readers Initiative, the Senior Care at Onion Creek? Do we only give to the ministries which we support and in which we participate? Or do we donate to St. Albans because we trust one another to do the wise thing and minister to one another and to those we do not know yet? Do we not pledge and donate to the ministries of which we do not participate? The answer is no. We pledge and donate to you and your participation in these ministries because we love you and trust you. The idea I want you to consider is that donating to St. Albans is about giving to ministries in which you participate and ministries in which you do not participate. We are giving to one another in order to minister to each other and folks we do not know yet. With regards to the capital campaign, if we do not pledge over a three-year period, then we will have to take away from ministries in order to provide for our physical campus. If we pledge to the capital campaign and the annual budget, then we are ensuring that St. Albans remain, remains vital now and remains vital for the future, long after many of us are sitting in these pews. I'm asking each one of you to donate to both campaigns, the annual budget and the capital campaign. Let us, through our pledges and donations, show and demonstrate to our eventual rector and to our current interim rector that we want to provide for St. Albans in the present tense and for St. Albans in the future tense. As you pray about and decide upon the amount you provide for both funds, then I implore you to pledge and donate to both the ministries in which you participate and to those in which you do not. Love one another, trust each other. Take some time for authentic self-examination. While doing this, reflect on your own stewardship and ask God if you can improve in this area. Ask yourself, how might I be a better steward? Ask yourself, do I pledge? Do I tithe? Finally, the book of Acts tells us about the early church when it reads, all the believers were together and had everything in common. They were in total agreement and they were of one accord. Next week, commitment day, be of one accord. Be in agreement with one another and have everything in common. Pledge to the annual budget, pledge to the capital campaign, pledge to the air conditioning and heating, pledge to the windows that need to be replaced, pledge to the water system, pledge to the building's exterior, pledge to the interior improvements, pledge to one another, pledge to retiring our debt, Pledge to God and pledge to this present day and to the future of St. Albans. When you exit today and walk past the cross in front of our building, which so badly needs repair, begin to pray about what you will pledge and donate. As well, when you return next week, bring your signed pledge card. and the forms that we have for the annual budget and the capital campaign. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift 
that although he was rich, for our sakes he became poor, in order that we, through his poverty, may become rich. Thank you, and amen. 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 <clears throat> <clears throat>